Must be nice to sign on the dotted line. Yeah, it is. Um, especially coming off the rookie list. Um, yeah, really grateful for the opportunity the club's given me to um, yeah, be on the senior list next year. It's been really enjoyed my time of the first two years and hopefully, yeah, it can provide a long career for me here. The security, just having that underneath your belt, knowing you've got a job next year, how, how, just how important is that to your own mindset? Yeah, it definitely um, helps the mind. Um, just go out there and play footy. You don't have to worry about um, pushing your case each week to yeah, have a job next year, as you say. But yeah, really, yeah, really happy with the decisions to sign on next year. When you come into this year as a, as, as a rookie, what's the mindset? What, what, are you, what, what, was your ho- what are you hoping to achieve? Yeah, well, first of all, just build my body, get my body to the level where I can compete at AFL. Then, um, yeah, gain the respect of my teammates by playing good footy at Peel. Then, yeah, hopefully make my debut early in the season, yeah, and try to cement a spot in there. But, yeah, like I said before, just really, um, yeah, build my body. That's the main thing I have to do over the pre-season. And, yeah, I thought I'd done that to a level where I can compete at AFL. You said challenges. Oh, you, were, you were a slight dude when you arrived at, at the club. How, how hard has it been to, to put the bulk on? Is it something that's come naturally or has it had to be really hard work? Yeah, it hasn't come naturally. Some blokes put it on quite quick, but others, yeah, it's been really hard. It's been one of my main... Um, Challenges, I reckon, and yeah, hopefully I can continue to put on weight and yeah, build my frame. It's just going to give me the best chance to play the best way I can. So how much uh, heavier are you now than when you arrived? Uh, I arrived at 72 kilos and now at 82, so I put on about 10. So hopefully I can put another about five on in the next couple of years, which will yeah, give me the best chance to play. So the normal person out there, how, what do you have to do? Is it, is it a lot of eating or is it a lot of gym work? What, how, how do you actually manage to put the weight on with the amount of training you do? where you can strip it back off quite easily? Yeah, a combination of both um, weights and lots of eating. Um, our dietitian sets up a really good plan for us and yeah, we try to stick to that in our strength and conditioning, give us a good program in the weights and yeah, we do that and lots of extras as well. So we have our time where we're supposed to be at the club and yeah, coming in and doing a bit more as well just to do a little bit, which people don't really see, but you can see in yourself that really helps as well. When did it start to, when did the body start to reach a stage where you felt comfortable? Um, probably coming to um, pre-season, I felt a bit thicker and yeah, the body was feeling really good. Had a really good pre-season. Um, most people think it's pretty hard to put on weight in pre-season because you're doing so much running and training, but it's actually a bit easier because after you don't not playing. So after a game, some boys really struggle to eat and yeah, get that back in, the fluids back in. But in pre-season, it's quite easy because you're not playing any games. How, how much fun has it been playing for footy this year and just achieving your dream? Yeah, loved it, um, especially playing down back. Uh, lots of young boys down there, Luke Ryan, Joel Hamling, Alex Pierce. Yeah, Luke's my be my housemate, so it's really good playing with him, like your best mate, playing down back and yeah, really good group group of young boys coming through. And hopefully um yeah, continue that for a few years to come. Having that youth, you know, it's obviously the club's in rebuilding mode. Is, is there a bit of a bond between you guys to make sure that you can you can all stick together and, and try to come through as a group? Yeah, definitely. Um but there's also that good mixture of leaders as well. So you've got Lockie Neal, Nat Fife, um, Alex Pierce and Joel Hamling. They're really um, driving that that youth and that culture as well and yeah we're a really tight group we always go out for dinners and um yeah we're always mingling together you said you lived with Luke Ryan did you live with him last year as well no nah, not last year I was in the host family last year so it's me and Brendan Cox um and Luke Ryan living out together so how, how, living together then with other players has is, is that changed the way you've approached the game or what, you've, what have you learned from doing that yeah it's been interesting it's been really good um well Coxie's up forward me and Luke down back so we actually play on each other during training but once we're at training and yeah, we really enjoy it, but when we get home, we like to relax and just not think about footy too much. But when it's game day, yeah, we really switch on, really drive each other to do do little things as well. What's the coach been big on for you? Yeah, like I said before, just continue to put on weight. Um, that's just going to give me the best chance to play my best footy. And you head down to Geelong this week. It's a place that you know, a lot of guys don't get don't play there too often, obviously, you know, with um, a non-traditional sort of venue like the G and the Eddie. What's, what, what's the, the thought process heading down there? Yeah, it's going to be a really good um, opportunity to play against a really good side in, in Geelong. Um, we're really looking forward to the challenge, and yeah, it's best best way to um, show what show what you guys play the best teams. And yeah, we're really looking forward to the challenge and no opportunity to improve our game. What do you see there, forward line? It's, it's obviously Hawkins is a dominant figure down there, and they've got some other smaller blokes. So what, what sort of a player do you expect to play on? Yeah, not too sure yet. I think um, Alex Pierce or Joel Handling might get the job on Hawkins. Um, if Joel Handling's back, um, hopefully he can get up. But um, yeah, I'm quite flexible in my role. I can either play tall or small, just up to what the coach wants to see. Has that been the key to your ability to stay on the team is you that you, know, you can play on a variety of different players? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's definitely um, something that helps me um, get into the side and yeah, I can give that bounce and that lockdown as well if need be. How do you find the balance between when to, when to go and when to just hang back and look after your man? 
yeah, it can be tricky at times, but we got some really good players there. Like Nathan Wilson is a really good ball user. But with um, Stephen Hill and Dice Stuck going out, I can sort of come into that role and give a bit more distribution coming out of the back line. You haven't had any trouble finding it. Like, you've had a fair bit of, fair bit of the ball. Is that, is that the role that you think you're best suited to? Yeah, whatever the coach wants, really. Um, yeah, try to be coachable and whatever he wants, I'll, I'll try and do.